Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Thursday, September the 12th. More Doring is here and our special guest, Connor. Good to have both of you from All Paws Medical and Behavioral Center. Good Thank to have you here, Mark. Thank you for having us. We're and, always um, so happy to be here. Let's 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 uh, kind of recap Connor's story because you're holding this little dog on your lap, and he comes uh, every every time you visit yes. with us. What's what's Connor's story? Well, Connor's story is he is a rescue boy, but not just a rescue boy. He came from a puppy mill, and I I had had. Westies my entire life, and sadly we had lost a year apart two of our wonderful, wonderful Westie babies, and I was looking and looking and looking for a new West Highland Terrier, and I just could not find one for some reason. I wanted to rescue one, and I heard about one that was coming due for adoption, and the more I heard about him, turned out he came from a puppy mill, and he he was a breeding guy, but he had lost half an ear he only had five teeth and he was eight years old so Mm -hmm. he was not everybody's first choice but i saw him and fell in love and the rescue which was out in nebraska i was very very blessed that they were so wonderful and they helped us and they let us adopt him and he was delivered to our house or actually to my clinic but the amazing, amazing thing is, a couple, well, several, several years before, I had adopted another puppy mill dog, and they, I promise you, are identical looking twins. I think they must have come from this, they both came from puppy mills. And the incredible thing is, they, they looked identical, they act identical. And they're friends. Well, no, no. The one had passed, oh, the but one it's like passed. the one had sent Connor to us. So that part is very cool. But the other part that is amazing is that our first one, Gussie Grissom from a puppy mill and Connor from a puppy mill, puppy mill dogs have a little different take on life. They have not been socialized and they're sometimes elderly and they've been asked to do a job and that's about it so neither and one they of were them, never given love they, they were never been... given love they didn't know really what people were exactly they didn't know what well in connor's case they thought other dogs would bite their ears or do some negative things sometimes and so he had that which was a concern so they come with issues but oh my gosh they it's like every day and every moment you're able to show them something new and show them love and show them how to socialize for the first time in their life yeah. and for connor it was the age of eight and now connor is very sociable yes. he comes down here all the time and he <laughs> he's got that big smile that doggy smile on his face he's happy as can be even though he's missing teeth there. yes he is. he's <laughs> so still that's adorable connor's, <laughs> that's connor's story that's a good picture of you there connor <laughs> Uh, but today, Mar, you wanted to uh, you wanted to talk about uh, cats and yes. cat behavior. Yes, because Connor lives with six cats, or at least shares his life with six cats at my clinic. He goes with me every day, as well as his other brothers and sisters who are doggies, and there's six cats there. So they have to kind of adjust to each other, and the wonderful thing is that people sometimes don't realize is that cats can be trained, cats can be socialized. Of course. And anybody that has a cat knows there's a couple of things about cats that you should know that helps when you're getting a new cat of any age, kitty or adult cat, that helps a little bit along the way. The first thing is cats are not small dogs. They have their own set of rules and they socialize a little different so that doggies have an actual pack cats fit in and want a family but they choose a little differently right they want things on their terms exactly and some are more open to it than others and some of that has to do with how they were raised by their mom cat or at what age they actually left their mommy cat or what age they were socialized and how you're doing it in the beginning makes a huge difference just as it does for dogs but a little bit different than dogs the other thing about cats so important to know and i know you know any cat 
owner and lover knows that cats do not like change. They like things to be on a routine. You can change things, but you have to do it slow and you have to kind of encourage, but never force. And I really feel it's the same for dogs, but cats really are not going to follow their leader necessarily in order for change. They have to be encouraged. Right. You need to take your time. And they like to be the leader as far as telling you what you need to do when you need to do it. Yes, but not necessarily. You have feral cats and I have feral cats. And the journey with feral cats has been amazing in the sense that they have not been socialized properly. I knew the mommy of one and whew, she was a scary little girl. But they are open in a different way but you've got to in a certain sense be a leader in order to help them to be braver but and i to tell get you one confidence. thing uh and i have rescued five feral cats and everybody had said there is no way that you can make a pet out of a feral cat there is no way well, I'm here to tell you that is not true. That's right. And that I is have, not true. That's right. Uh, and, and I have four as well. And you're 100% right. But it, it starts from the day that you adopt them. Right. And then building their confidence up and going slow and showing them you're not going to force exactly. them into your family. You're not going to force them to love you. Some of them may not want to be touched right off the bat. Ours were very, very, very scared because their mom was very, very scared of us. But once they chose us and once we were able to help them to learn that we not only meant no harm, we were all about wanting right. to be there to help them. When they entered the home now, oh my goodness, these kitties give us kisses. They're on our laps all the time. <laughs> right. The worst part of it is I don't get to do work because they're sitting right. on my paper. Right, but. especially when they're walking across a computer keyboard. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Typing their own letters. Exactly. All right, if you want more information, but keep this in mind, you can make a pet out of a feral cat. Yes. You just show love and yes. patience. You have yes. to have patience. Yes. If you want more information, you can come Contact more at All Paws Medical and Behavioral Center in, in Old Summit. Summit. And your phone number? It's 573-896-4040. Okay, and please come back again and bring oh, that happy, that. smiley dog, <laughs> Connor, with you. I would love to. Read. Okay, love more. Uh, tomorrow, Office of Cultural Affairs, Missouri River Relief. Something you'd like to hear or see, drop me an email, pepperpmissouri.edu.